There is perhaps no individual like Shoaib Saab who's touched the lives of millions of people in every nook and corner of this country. From the coast of Makran to the heights of Barogal Pass in the north, there are thousands of villages where he has organized communities, visited them in scorching heats or extremely chilly weather, and through these communities, been able to initiate activities which have impacted their lives and transformed them in many ways. His greatest le legacy is perhaps the rural support programs, which are organizations that he started in different parts of the country and which have been there for over 40 years now. These organizations have tapped into the social energy of the people and initiated programs that have built their leadership, that have brought irrigation and drinking water to communities, that have generated power, built roads and bridges, made the poor bankable by initiating microcredit programs. His Human resource centers have been a nursery through which thousands of community activists and professionals have gained invaluable training and become part of the development process in the country. The rural support programs have been there when there have been emergencies, both humanitarian and natural disasters. They've always been in the forefront of the relief and reconstruction work. And he's been the strongest advocate for poverty programs in the country. And his thoughts have influenced the shape that they have taken over the years. Shweb Saab is a disciple of Akhtar Imid Khan, who, who is his mentor and his teacher. But it was the ideas of Akhtar Imid Khan, which was based on the simple idea that the communities have within them the social energy which could be tapped for their development. But it was Shweb Saab who took these to heights by bringing in huge resources from national and international donors and, in, and initiated programs in community infrastructure, in credit, in human resource development, in gender and development and humanitarian aid. Shweb Saab's, as an individual, all those who worked with him have found him to be a simple man, humble in, in, in what he, he does, despite the fact that he was, for so many years, almost four decades, presiding over organizations, people and resources, which are vast by any consideration, yet he always retained the simplicity of his life and always set examples for others. It was ethical leadership. The very fact that for over 40 years with different governments, both at the national and provincial levels, he was and different political parties and different regimes that came to power, he was able to retain their confidence of all and still able to deliver is a great tribute to the man and how he works. Shweb Saab is a great uh, professional, but he always combined professionalism with volunteerism. He thought they could not be separated, and his life and his work combined the two. The RSPs would not have been possible if it not had been for the many volunteers that he gathered together who sat on their boards over these years and were able to guide them. And also in his, his, his style of working uh, with the communities, which was open and transparent, would not have been possible had he not, not believed that ultimately, if, if anything had to change in this country, it would be through its people. It is by building their capacities. It is by trusting them 
it is by believing in them and his whole life and how he wanted to transform the communities is a, is is a, is that story which is which is worth knowing uh, for the younger uh, generations because uh, such individuals are very rare and we were very lucky to have them in pakistan